Yo, what's good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, I'm going to be telling you guys about how to get domin how to get through domination not only quickly, but as easily as possible. Now, in past years, you know, there's been a play that you've had to run, some other things that, that might have came up, whether it's a, a money play, whatever else, or just, you know, back cuts, so just some weird ways to get through games. Now, right now I'm through eight games, which for me, I mean, is that a ton? No, but it's just, it's been easy. And, and that's the best way to describe it. It's been super easy getting through eight games this far. Now, what is it? It's something I never thought I'd use. It's position locks. I mean, if you want to control your entire team, do what you've got to do. But ever since I've controlled my shooting guard, I've had so much success with this. Now, when I first wanted to try the position locks, I was in the middle of a game and I was like, is there any way during the middle of the game I can do position lock, uh, lock on to a position? Just because I wanted to try it out. I was like, if I do it and, and I'm losing, I want to be able to take it off, all those things. And I never found a way to that. And then I went into here. I chose to try out locking on Terry Rozier and I have never, never, never looked back. Now, why? I'm going to go over why I like locking on my shooting guard in a guy that can't shoot. If I need to, Terry Rozier can get me 50. It's that simple. In domination, the dude can get me 50. If I don't want to play with Terry Rozier, the reason I like it is, one, I'll never have to inbound the ball. So if, if let's say I'm up 40, I don't even have to touch the controller. I don't have to inbound the ball. I don't have to do anything. Secondly, John Morant can hoop himself. I got guys on the court that can do some things other than that. And so for me, there's nothing I need to do. Now, one thing I would recommend is you do have a decent team around him. So, I mean, I'm not I'm not even gonna sit here and say you have to have the best players in the world around him, but you need a decent team. Even if this was, you know, Sapphire Shaq, you're probably okay, run John Morant, Xavier McDade for the pre-order and a cheap Pau Gasol card. You don't have to have the best squad in the game. I'm not gonna sit here and say that, but just a decent squad that can get the job done. So yes, all you gotta do to position lock is you gotta click down on the left stick. And that's it, your position lock on Terry Rozier. And you guys might be like, Ty, I don't believe that it's that easy. You need to show me. Well, I'll show you. I'll give you guys a prime example. And I'm even going to be guarding Desmond Bain, who will probably light me up. And so do I do settings, anything like that? No, I don't. I, I don't I don't touch anything. Now, I, will, I do want to kind of clarify and say this. I try to play hard for, you know, the first quarter and a half, right? I try to get, you know, uh, I would say 20 to 25 point lead. But then after that, I literally don't play the game anymore. I'm watching Twitch, watching YouTube, watching something else. But this is what I do, okay? Get the ball right here. You do this little snatch. Yo, can I do it? Little snatch back into a green. It's simple. Every single possession. Now, the one thing I will say is you've got to be able to green it. Now, how do you do that snatch back? You cr do like a, you hold down the right uh, R2. You cross off with the right stick straight across and then you flick down on the left stick. It's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Now, defensively, I mean, again, at the start of the game, I play somewhat defense, but by the end of it, I literally just let the CPU do what they've got to do. Again, it doesn't matter. For Terry Rozier, if it's open, if it's lightly, it's probably not going to matter. Now, if you want to use Zach Levine, Steph Curry, I mean, the list goes on. You can use basically whoever else, but they've just got to be able to do that little retreat dribble. Why am I using Terry Rozier? Well, He's your first domination reward. You get him, you Evo him up, and you can have a lot of success with him like I am. Again, I don't do anything. Even like in this type of a setting, I could sit here and not move the entire possession and probably have somewhat of a success rate. For me, I'm just trying to get off to a little better start and a little better lead. Anytime you contest a shot or your team contests a shot and you know it's a miss, you can leak out and again, get an easy look. Right there, I missed it. Obviously airballed it, but... I will say the majority of my misses are rebounded by Rudy Gobert. Obviously, I got an advantage right there. A lot of you guys are going to have Shaq, somebody else, but I don't, I'm not going to sit here and say I miss that often because I truly don't. And it's just so easy. I mean, yes, you could have sat corner in, in the past or whatever you wanted to do, but it's so much easier now to just sit off and then leak out. And obviously right there, so, you know, that's kind of a fluke play right there, but hold up, come here. I got to give it up. And the great part about it is you give it up to John Morant. You go sit on this end of the court. This is what I do for the majority of the second half. I give it to John Morant and I sit on this half of the court so he can't pass it back to me. The reason I early on 
uh, you know, get into the game, get involved, it's because I want to be up, you know, 20 points. And then on this end of the court, in the second half, you'll see me, I literally get on the offensive side of the court. I play no offense and no defense. And that's what I like about it. Because I'm basically letting the CPU play games for me. But this is the prime example of what I take advantage of, right? They miss, I leak out, I get a three. That's a prime example, just like this. I'm already up eight points. And I've really not done anything outside of do one simple dribble move that I can't even do every time I want to. I'm still not great at it. And green shots. That's really it. And obviously with Terry Rozier, he's got great shooting badges and 85 three ball as well as a good release. You're going to green and knock down shots. So for me, it's easy. You don't want to give me the ball? That's cool. I'll let my Ja Morant do what Ja Morant does. Simple, easy, and effective. We're already up 10 against the Memphis, Memphis Grizzlies who honestly... At least in the current down, obviously it's going to get harder, but I'll probably get a better team. At least through this is going to be one of the better teams I'm going to face. Again, I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm not at all, right? I mean, you guys, you guys are seeing what I'm doing. I'm not doing anything crazy. I mean, it's it's simple. Obviously, I'm not even getting the dribble stick I want to do. But even on those types of possessions, if I don't get the leak out that I want, that's cool. What I honestly could do is I could just, you know, move forward, right? Get the ball to John Morant and, and move on to the next possession. Now, the best part of this thing is when guys like my opponent has are on the court, like Tyus Jones, his backups are on the court. John Concha, like these these guys are just not good. This is when you really take advantage. Since I'm guarding Desmond Bain, should I probably still play some defense? Probably. I mean, until he's off the court, I probably still have the same responsibility. But as far as him making and missing shots, this is when I'll take advantage. See the shot clock, time and score. Yep, he shoots it, I'm gone. I mean, he hits the rim. Yep, I'm already gone on the other end of the court. Probably could have shot it, but it's okay. It's okay, you wanna know why? Cause we got Ja Morant on this side of the court. Yep, I'm gone. Go get it, to, all right, you want me involved? Fine, fine. You want me involved? That's cool, chill. Yep, get it to Ja. Shoot it, you can shoot it, Ja. Yep, no need to, look at him. I mean, what do I need to do? As long as you, even if you got Steph Curry as your point guard or anybody that can make somewhat of a play, you really don't have to do anything. Obviously, and this is this goes for people who are not good at the game. If you are horrible at the game and are trying to get through domination, this method is for you too. Okay, I got Ja Moran on me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ja. I gotta do you, man, I got to. Oh my gosh, I missed it. Look at Rudy go. Look at Rudy go, give me the rock. Green, give me the rock, already at 15. Now, all I gotta do is hold the lead and I don't have to do anything from here on out. It's a simple concept that you guys need to put into your arsenal. So here's the question. Here's what people are gonna ask. Ty, does this work on current gen? Well, my answer is gonna be try it. I mean, try it. I'm guessing it's gonna work. I'll, I'd find a way to make it work on current gen. You might have to manipulate some things, play a little bit differently, but whatever else, it's gonna work on current gen. You just gotta find a way to do it. And if it doesn't work, you can always just quit the game. Contracts don't really matter, so you can just quit the game and restart. But for me, I mean, yes, I play, I would say I play decently hard until I get up like 20 or so. And then once I get up 20, I really don't try anymore. I mean, it's that simple. I, I, once I'm up 20, it's just like, okay. I mean, there's no point of me, you know, frying him on every possession. Hey, there's no point. Just let Ja do his work. But simple concept, uh, relieve some pressure, let you do whatever you want instead of focusing on domination. It's going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Hopefully, each and every of you guys did enjoy it. Hopefully, you guys have some good teammates around you that can put on a show when you're just trying to relax like I am right now. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you are doing it. As always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.